hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to insert the data into our firebase real-time database okay so guys, we are going to use laravel application where with the help of firebase admin sdk for php we will be inserting the data in our real-time database so guys to insert the data first we need to create a table so this is my database let's create one table so let's create contacts and just give a a value over there and let's remove this we don't need the value just keep it null guys perfect so this is our contacts table for example reference table okay so now guys let's begin with our contact list so click on it on this add contact when you click a url is created guys so let's create this let's get back so first let's move to index this was our add contact button with the url add contact so let's copy this and create a route for this guys so route colon colon get function and go to the controller so we are going to use the same controller let's copy and paste go to create function let's go to the contact controller create a function with the name public function create function open and close return view inside the firebase folder contact folder create blade file so let's move resource views firebase contact inside this file create dot blade dot php file perfect so now guys let's get back to index file copy the same code and paste and let's make some changes over here so instead of contact list add contact and contact and make this button to danger design and keep a basic back button name and make this as column 6 perfect guys so inside this our form will be so start with the form where you are going to create an action url where we will tell same url okay so add contact we are going to store the data with the same url method is equal to post and generate the csrf token done so guys we need a input fields now so let me just design with that form hyphen group dot margin bottom three and input dot form hyphen control where the column field name using name attribute first underscore name let's give a label over here you will tell let's remove this for we do not require first name perfect so copy paste 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 we required only four inputs last name and phone number and one email address so same way you're going to give last name make this to small t this will be a phone and this will be your email perfect and simple guys one button remove this button save design the class primary and the button type will be the submit all set so let's see the output refresh cool so now guys let's insert the data so first step we need data like when we click on the submit button it goes to this url with the post method okay so let's go to web.php and create a route using post method where add contact comma the same controller will move on so let's go to this controller and create a store function so let's go to this controller guys at public function with the name store function all set 
and now guys you need to insert the data over here so before that let's get back to our real-time database so first let's initialize the real-time database component guys for that in laravel you can use over here you can see that it's providing laravel you can use this so let's copy this and and paste all set let's copy this and paste it perfect guys so now you are getting the database connection okay if you have given your dot env file connections right so which you can see this in part one let's close so second step now let's move to saving data let me find that push function so you can see that guys over here okay so let's copy this method copy and use it over here so your data will be inside this array like f name this will be our database column field name okay and the request so get the request dollar request the request which you get from your form okay so this form request you are going to get form request of your input field name okay so first name copy and paste so same way guys you need to call for all the fields which will be the last name and this will call the last name phone and email perfect so same way you are going to keep for this also phone email done guys and now this database so instead of this database I need to copy this and paste that paste it and now what is this this is your get reference so we'll tell reference underscore the table name okay single quotes we are going to paste that table name what we have created it's contacts okay so contacts and take this table name and paste it done okay so guys there is one change over here i don't want to repeat this in everything like insert edit update i don't want to call this table so let's make this to global thing okay so same way as you can just copy this and change this table name over here and make this to the table name contacts all set perfect so now you can just call this dollar this of table name okay done and now once the data is post you can check this in if condition if the data is success you are going to return and redirect redirect back with the message status where you will show that contact added successfully and you are going to redirect back with I want to redirect back to this contact page okay so this page so let's get back contact page else we are going to return at the same page okay contact not added okay and to view the status let's move to index blade file user if condition session where status and if where you can use h4 session of status okay so let's keep this in a 
design alert alert for next okay save it get back and now guys let's save the data so let's check the code once again in our contact controller so everything is fine now okay let's get back let's insert with the data with prakash phone number okay email with at gmail.com click save and boom so contact added successfully let's see in our firebase perfect guys so you can see that with prakash and phone number and its email id is added so let's add one more data so um prakash some random digit phone number um at gmail.com click on save perfect so we are getting the message and you can see guys second data also has come cool so now guys we have successfully seen that how to insert the data into our real-time database using firebase php in laravel so guys in this video that's it let's continue in the next video how to fetch this firebase real-time database data in our laravel application so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share